car, but you'll crash out on them. The nigga at the gas station. I'm trying to pump my gas and you ready to crash out on me for pumping it. Dang, bro, can I get to my next destination? Like, can I put gas in my car? Y'all back. <laughs> Yo, what it do, Jim Shoe? It's KJ, and I'm back with another video. Guess what? If you see in this video, that means I mean, it's time for you to turn your uh, notifications on. That's what it means. But no, if you're seeing this, really, this is probably your second time seeing me this week for a video. Pretty sure I've been posting shorts all week. But this is something that I wanna start getting into. I wanna start coming on every um, Friday or Saturday and just talking to you guys. Um, oh, excuse me. I feel like this could be the start of something good. Um, just every week I come in and I just touch base with you guys. I talk to y'all, see how y'all week been going and things like that. Yes, I post every week, but this the this the checkup, you know. Some of my videos earlier in the week, usually on Mondays, they not always gonna be checkup on you videos. So I want this to be our time to connect, if that makes sense. So you go first. How was your week? Good, good. Or bad, bad. All right, I'll just tell you about mine. Um, I had a good week this week, uh, no complaints. Like I said once before, my weeks usually don't change, my days don't change. Um, it's always normal, it's the same. If something bad happens, it's still considered good. And what I mean by that is, is because I don't believe in bad days. So I believe in bad moments, but not bad days. To me, it's impossible to have a bad day. What actually is a bad day? Let's say you get a flat tire, your goldfish die, and you're broke. You have no money. It sounds like they could be a bad day, but to me, those are just bad moments. Those are bad phases because eventually things will get better. Once you get you know, more money, you'll be able to get your tire fixed. You might have a great relationship with your fish, but you can always replace that fish. It sounds crazy, but you can it can be replaced. But what can't be replaced is your life. You're alive. That's a blessing. Anytime you wake up, it's a blessing. So I need y'all to ch change our mindset and ch try to think like that. It's, it's not a such thing as a bad day. Bad moments, bad phases, but no bad days. We're gonna be the no bad day crew. Got that? Only good days, so. If you're having a bad day right now, fix your mindset. First of all, smile. Ain't nothing wrong with smiling. Like I always say, it do not rain forever. The sun gotta come out. It's gonna be a brighter day. Don't worry about what's in my cup. It's Gatorade. Gotta stay hydrated. Okay, so kind of want to talk to y'all about uh, a few different things uh, today. Yeah, I'm finna go on a uh, yap session, so if you don't want to hear me yap, beat it. And I'm just playing, come on back, come on back, because you might be able to learn something from this or participate in this convo. So I just want to talk about how people can potentially detour you from your intentions yeah that's kind of crazy the way you think about it it's like how can somebody change your intentions well it can happen and I'll explain how it can happen say for instance you are intending on buying someone a gift okay your intentions are good you want to buy this person a gift but that person can detour you from that by what they do, their actions, what they say. And initially, I wanna say that you shouldn't let that deter you from doing what you want to do. But sometimes, you know, it happens, like we're, we're all human. So if somebody says something crazy, tell me, of course, I'm not about to get you, like, no, nah, get it yourself. But 
this right here is a, a loving channel and an embracing channel. So I feel like, well, my new way of thinking is if you intend to do that, then you need to follow through with your intentions. And people use this word all the time. They're always talking about intent, intent, intent. They want to date with intent. And just is this word is used a lot. And often our feelings, our thoughts, our emotions, uh, what we believe in, it all get deterred by or rerouted by what someone else is doing. So we can't let that other person dictate our feelings, but at the same time, we can. I know this sounds crazy. I sound crazy saying it, but when you try to do something from the heart, you should do it. And that's basically what I'm getting at. If it's from the heart, it don't matter what that next person do. Unless you like unalive somebody or something like that. If he do something that's not morally right, then yeah, you got a right to change your intentions. But if it's something that, you know, no harm, no foul, keep your intentions, keep your intentions pure. And I know I'm yapping, but the moral of the story is basically, if you intend to do something, follow through with your intentions. For all you men and women out there, the most important thing that we can get out of this is your word is bond. For all my guys, your word is bond. If you tell somebody you're gonna do something, follow through with your word. That's the only thing that we can go off of. Your word is bond. Now, enough about that. Just talk about myself a little bit. So, my main goal and my number one focus on this is, is when I say this, I'm talking about YouTube, is it gives me a voice. It gives me a voice. I'm able to be heard. I strongly believe that everyone deserves to be heard. I strongly believe that everyone shouldn't listen to everyone that thinks they deserve to be heard. However, everyone deserves to be heard. Maybe not by everyone, but it's someone for everyone. You feel me? Like, it's gonna be conversations that I talk about that a lot of people do not care about. But then again, it's gonna be some conversations that quite a few people care about. So that's why I feel like everyone deserves to be heard because just because these people over here don't wanna hear it, these people over here might wanna hear it. My biggest goal is to reach out to one to two people every day or every video. Every video I put out, my goal is to reach one to two people. I'm not trying to reach out to a million people, a thousand people. I want to reach out to one to two people. As long as I know that I affect those one and one to two people each video, then I feel accomplished. If it's not the same people, like this video might resonate better with two other people than it did my last video. You see what I'm saying? As long as I'm reaching out to two different people, not the same people, but different people, I wanna be able to expand. I wanna reach out to one to two people. If you enjoy what I'm saying, then hopefully that's one of you. You know, I wanna be able to say, oh, I made this person smile today. Or I made this person think today. I changed this person today. I changed the way this person thought about this certain situation. I helped this person get over their bad mood. It's just, I just wanna be able to touch people. Huh? Pause, not like that, but I wanna be able to, to touch you in a, a real type of way. No games right now, none of those Diddy games, anything like that, but but that's my goal. I want to be able to, to reach out to at least one to two people each video. So that's my main purpose of doing this is because I want my voice to be heard and I want it to reach the right people. And I know that if I get a thousand view video, I'm pretty sure I you know, reach out to those one or two people. And that's my biggest goal. If I get a million view video, hopefully I'm able to touch at least four people out of that. Like. Like, that's just my goal. This is something that 
I want to embrace the love and we already got enough hate going on in this world. It, we don't need no more of that. Like we got that in music and everybody want to be street, everybody want to be hood. That's the thing and eight out of 10 people are not coming from the hood. They just want to have that struggle story. So that's what I'm, I'm here to say. Like let's start embracing positivity and let's try to like branch out and reach other people. So a little background about me, um, I used to coach. I coached for about seven to eight years and I enjoyed every bit of it. It's because I got a chance to work with kids and I was playing a huge role in their life. Some of these kids didn't have fathers and every day they would look up to me. Like I was that father figure to them. What do you say when you meet a nice man? Are you my daddy? So I would guide them through life, you know, through high school, like I was something like their father, you know, some of them looked up to me as their uncle or, or whatever, big brother. The thing is, is I made an impact. And if I'm able to make an impact through this, then hopefully I can make that impact worldwide. Because just coaching on the field, coaching on the basketball court, you can only reach a certain amount of people. Your own little community, your, your team. But with YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, you can reach millions of people. People that you will never even think about like getting in contact with. And I just want everybody to, to just think about that. Like try to spread a little bit of positivity like throughout your week. That's the main goal. So for next week, try to spread positivity. Try to reach out to one person, just one person in life. If you can make that person smile, you know, change their feelings, um, just change your thought about something in a positive way, then you've won, you've won the week. And I think that should be everybody's goal. I'm not saying do it every day, but at least try. At least try. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? Attempt, attempt to spread love. We don't need no more violence. We don't need no more killing. We don't need none of that. Like, that stuff played out. Honestly, it's 2024. If you still trying to be a thug in 2024, trying to be a gangster, then you, you backwards. I'm not here to say what you can and what you can't do. I know some gangsters that, that preach like the good word, you feel me? Like they, preaching a positive perspective. And that's because they had a, a bad past and they learned from their mistakes and now they're trying to turn over a new leaf and preach positivity. So if you got hood niggas, gangsters that's trying to do that, why can't the average person do that? It don't make sense to, to give off negative energy all the time. Like that's, it's draining. It's mentally draining. Nobody wants to be around someone that's, you know, always turned up to the max, ready for whatever, ready to crash out. Oh, relax, bro. It's 6 a.m. Get you some eggs and, and some pancakes. Relax, there's no need to be hostile at 6 a.m. Kind of tone it down, you know. And if you are one of those people that's always turned up and ready for whatever, relax a little bit. Relax a little bit. I swear, man, life is so much easier when you're having fun and loving rather than looking over your shoulder trying to be, you know, the next Larry Hoover. And, and I can't even say Larry Hoover because he changed his whole motive. Growth and development. Like, that's what, like, he's one of those gangsters that's preaching positivity now. And it's just like, like, come on, like, you got a, a leader, you got a gang leader that's preaching growth and development. And you out here want to talk about you BD everything and, like, just, just come on, man. Like, you CK, BK, what, whatever, man. Like, grow up, man. Grow up. And it, it's the youth. It is the youth. We got to reach out to the youth because in 10 years, if things don't change, we are cooked. We are cooked. And if you do want to be a gangster and you want to be, want to be tough, you're ready to crash out, enlist. I'm perfect. <laughs>
enlist. You can go crash out overseas. Go crash out overseas. We need people like you. Matter of fact, you're right. Hey, anybody that's turned up at 6 a.m. and you're ready to crash out at any moment, hey, we need you. Keep going hard. I need you to go get every switch on the block. Every switch. Go get all the switches on the block. Any Draco, all of that. Hey, get familiar with it. Because when we send you overseas to North Korea and, and Kuwait and Iran and all, all those places, I need you to be ready. I need you to be a crash out. I need you to stand on business. But see, when it's time for y'all to do that, y'all don't want to do that. Y'all would much rather stand on business with your neighbor or the nigga down the street. They really ain't trying to cause no harm. No harm. But you'll crash out on them. The nigga at the gas station. I'm trying to pump my gas and you ready to crash out on me for pumping it. Dang, bro, can I get to my next destination? Like, can I put gas in my car? Y'all backwards, bro. If you want to fight for something, bro, go fight for our country. And I don't want to hear that. I don't like this country. I don't, well, hey, bro, leave. Leave. It's free will. Oh, it ain't that easy. Y'all just can't leave. Well, shut up. Shut up and deal with it. Deal with it. America's free. I don't care if we were meant to be here or if we wasn't meant to be here. If you're here, deal with it, man. Change your situation. Change your surroundings. But either way it goes, you got to deal with it. You don't got to deal with it in a negative impact. Deal with it in a positive order. Change your situation. You control that. You control that. You might say that you want to make it out the hood. Well, what are you doing to make it out the hood? Selling those little packs not going to get you out the hood. I'll tell you that. That's just going to keep you in the same mind frame. It's going to keep you in the same mind frame. So, sell your little packs and invest that don't invest in in another brick or some don't invest in that nah invest in something that's gonna keep you out of trouble invest into some stocks if you're moving big weight then invest into some property and you know set your future up not just for yourself but for your family for your kids we just got to do better we got to do better and that all comes along with the negativity and that's what I'm saying. If, if I can reach out to, to one or two of you little hoodlums and, you know, make y'all change our way of thinking and maybe you can spread that positivity to one of your friends. Two or three of those little hoodlums. Little hood rats. <laughs> and I'm trolling right now, but honestly, like that's the goal for, you know, the positivity to branch out. Why not? That's the better question. Why not? You've tried it your way. You've tried to be violent. You've tried to be negative. Be positive. Try something different. Be loving. Be caring. I don't know. That's just my my weekly little rant. And y'all get in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about what I just said. And let me know that, you know, should I start tapping in once a week like this? Well, actually twice a week because like I said, I posted earlier this week. So hopefully you watched that video. You better have watched that video that I posted earlier this week. It was either Monday or Tuesday. So go back and watch that video. Because I'm pretty sure it was a banger. But enough about that. Um, I'll see y'all next week. Remember, comment, like, subscribe. Turn your post notification on too. So then you know when your boy is live and full effect i ain't gonna be live but you'll know that my videos just drop if you turn your post notification on so appreciate y'all time and till next time peace